Yeah, very nice. Very nice to come and out and shoot the ball uh, the way we did. Our offensive numbers were um, terrific tonight. And then, I mean, they ended up hitting 11, but I thought we did a nice job defending them, especially in the first half, uh, quite honestly. And, and I had a good uh, DER. And, uh, you know, uh, in, this, in the second half, I think we just fouled them a little bit too much. But uh, by and large, really, really good effort, especially coming off the emotional one uh, the other night with a quick turnaround. You guys had 18 threes against them last year here. Is it, is it kind of the same defense that you saw tonight from last year? Uh, I, don't, I don't think it was quite as, uh, you know, um, packed in there as it was uh, uh, last year just looking at it. I just think, you know, some guys stepped up, made some big shots. I think, you know, I mean, it's hard to say, but, you know, Malachi shoots it really, really deep. Obviously, Julian shoots it really deep effortlessly. You know, and I think that can kind of really stretch some things out. Guarding their three, obviously, probably a, a point of emphasis. Yeah. But then scrambling around and doing the other stuff to kind of keep the other guys. Yeah, up. I mean, they're a they're a tough team to to prepare for and defend, especially when you try to play with traditional size. I mean, they they'll pull your bigs out because they're so skilled, and then you saw they were trying to post our guards and throw over the top, which is kind of a unique. Uh, Concept and you know, we gave up a couple, but by and large, like I said, I thought we defended them really, really well because that's a good offensive team. Coach felt like the guys were flying around on defense tonight. Did you did you see that as well? Uh, I mean, I like I said, I thought our defense was really, really, especially in the first half. You know, like it was down around point five there for a while. They ended up at point six or point seven maybe, which is really, really good. Um, and yeah, it was a combination of that. I think it was a combination of early uh, taking away their threes because they shoot them, a lot of them and, and shoot them comfortably. And uh, uh, you know, and then we did a good job protecting the rim. I know you've praised the WCC teams here in the past, you know, on a constant basis. But you won the last three games by combined eight points. You come out here with a forty-point win. How important is that to just get a sort of a routine win, if you will? I mean, it's just nice to, uh, I think as we alluded to earlier, just to maybe have not have to sweat it down to the last possession or two and to get all our guys in that deserve to get in, you know, and and, uh, and it's important to get them in. Um, so obviously that's what makes it makes it nice. It's good to see Malachi kind of capitalize on, on some, some minutes and 27, 7 threes. And, you know, it's maybe been hard for him to get the extended minutes with some of the, the tight games you guys have had lately. Yeah, but it's not so much the tight games. I mean, it's just, you know, he's, he's got some guys. There's this crowded backcourt, right? And so, uh, and then it he's had some very, very, very good games for us where we've really needed him. He's helped us win. And then, you know, other times, Razier has been terrific. You know, other times, Nolan's been terrific. So, Julian. So, you know, it's just... It's not so much, you know, him not, you know, we, we don't want to get him in. I mean, sometimes he's been our best player prior to this. So, uh, certainly I think it helps his confidence. And, and I think, uh, you know, he'll open up the floor even more for us moving forward. It's not really out of body. He can really, really shoot. And he shot well at uh, Chattanooga. Coach, is that a situation, since you do have that luxury, that you can potentially ride the hot hand, whoever's feeling it that night? Uh, that's what we try to do. I mean, that's kind of why one of them doesn't get in sometimes. So, um, yeah. Uh, Drew, 21 minutes. A lot of guys in the 20s after the stretch they've been through. That's probably going to uh, be beneficial for them here, maybe even next week. Right? Yeah, I mean, that, that's the hope. I mean, it, it, we were able to kind of get him in and out. And, again, we played small. We played four guards a lot tonight, more than we ever have. Primarily, they were small, but I mean, it was a game we could get away with it. And then, yeah, we were able to rest Drew some, so that's always huge when we can do that. He's been logging a lot of minutes. They did a nice job with Robertson in particular. I mean, he can do something. He can. He is a heck of a player, man. He's just, he can just do everything really, really easy. And he just, smart, smart player, skilled player. Um, I'm, I would guess he's fun to play with because he always makes the right basketball play. And Moses Wood, that kid's a heck of a player too. So uh, um, that's why they're scary. I mean, and, you know, the, early in that first half, they had that stretch where they, I think they had 10 or 11 in a row and uh, closed the gap a little bit. There was a, uh, a photo from your guys' practice today that kind of was on 
on social media. There was a maybe a Korean player that looked like he was practicing with you guys. I'm not sure if you could say anything, but have you guys added anyone or looking looking to add someone? I, didn't, I haven't seen any. I don't follow social media, so I don't know what 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 who was at practice or I mean it wasn't a shoot around, so you know. We'll have some, I mean, we'll be adding, you know, or figuring out our roster here with the semester coming up, uh, starting on Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever that is. I'm sure Barry will put something out. So. What do you got with uh, LMU? They look like they're quite a bit better. Than yeah, they are. They are. Stan's a good coach, man. He does a good job. They play super, super hard. They're super physical. Uh, Le Pepe is back for another year, man. I mean, it's just, and he's just so big and strong and athletic and and he's like Robertson he's just a good basketball player you know tough tough matchup they've really had some nice wins uh this year and uh yeah they've been a tough out pretty much for everybody yeah you know those are good victories to have um but it's also like those type of games just you know require us to be um locked in for the whole 40 minutes and no matter what the score is continue to play like you know, up to our standard. So it was we were glad we were able to do that for 40 minutes. Yeah, I think those last three kind of took some years off our lives, the the heart heart rate. But uh, you know, it's good to get a not a blowout win, but more than one point or five points or whatever we've been winning by. So definitely felt good. Everybody contributed, which was big time. So definitely a good feeling now. Malachi, it seems like every guard kind of gets their turn on this team. It's going to be Nolan one night, Rozier one night, it was you tonight, 27, seven threes. Um, what, what was it? Uh, like out there, and was the shot feeling good pretty early? Warm ups, and did you kind of know that? Um, I think just when the first one goes in, it's always like a good feeling. You know, the first one drops, and then it was like everything else was just kind of, you know, the rim just looked like an ocean. So, you know, uh, I, work, I put a lot of work in my shot. You know, I've hit, I've had games where I hit a lot of threes. So, um, you know, the team has faith in me, and you know, I have faith and confidence in myself. So, just don't even think about it. I think your career high in threes before this was five. You had seven tonight. Uh, was there something about their their defense that allowed you to, to get open tonight? I think just running and transition and just finding, you know, an open spot, you know, their game plan was kind of to pack the paint. So we kind of knew going into this game that, you know, shooters be ready to shoot. Um, you know, we hit a lot of threes as a team, you know, so that was kind of the mentality is be ready to shoot when it when it comes to you. So that was kind of the mentality. Ben, what did you guys do with guarding the three line, especially the first half, and being able to still Hold the, the rim down too. Yeah, we know that they get their, their threes up. Um, luckily, they missed some today. I think we gave them some uncontested ones that, that didn't drop for them. Some we need to work on for sure. But, you know, that was a game plan coming in, um, taking their shots away and, and uh, rebounding the ball once if they do miss it. I think we did a good job with that. Um, but definitely limit the attempts for sure. I think you guys finished one shy of the program record for sure 18. Were you aware that you were that close? No, I didn't know. I saw we were nine and a half time. I was like, oh, we're getting tacos early tonight. Uh, <laughs> so fans are definitely happy about that one. I am too. Hopefully I get a gift card. What specifically led to you guys just being able to make so many threes tonight? Uh, like we said, like going into the game, we knew the game plan was going to be they're going to try to pack the paint, you know. So we kind of, like, you know, coaches were telling us all week or, you know, this past day to, you know, be ready to shoot. And you know, it just was ready, and you know, they were good looks. What did you guys get out of the experience in the last few games, being able to play in close games and also win close games? What does it do for you moving forward and also in the postseason? Um, I think it's just big for for when March comes around. You know, being able to play in those high pressure games where every possession matters. Um, you know, and being able to pull it out at the end is is big time. Um, you know, in a hostile crowd like that too, to be able to do that is even more impressive. Um, so definitely, definitely gonna be good for us later on in the season having that experience. What do you think led to all the turnovers in the first half? They had a bunch of turnovers, and looked like it was just a track meet going the other way for you guys. Um, I think just you know we know they're a three-point shooting team. You know, crowding them at the three-point line, uh, kind of making them do not not kind of what their strengths aren't. You know, and um, you know just being aggressive. Like I said, you know going to this game, we we had a good win. On a Thursday, but we, you know, that game was in the past, so we wanted to just carry it over. So that was just the mentality, just to be aggressive. You guys basically cleared the bench here tonight. How important is it to preserve the legs, you know, for when you come March, uh, you, you sort of have your bodies intact uh, after a long season? I'm um, not even preserve the legs, but I mean, giving those those guys an opportunity to play. I mean, they work play so hard and practice for us, give us good looks every day. 
um, on the scouts and stuff like that. So to be able to have them come in and play is, is awesome. Um, you know, and it was you know it was a good week, good way to end it, end the week. Um, and then we got two more big ones next week, so we're gonna be fresh and ready to go for sure.